From the TraderGuy.com, this is Chris taking a look at the upcoming week. Uh, kind of looking at a couple charts and the first one that caught my attention was the dollar canadian dollar because it has been so negative this week has been brutal for the u.s dollar against the loonie so what's the reasoning well i think that chart over here explains it these are both weekly charts this is dollar cad this is the wti crude oil market which to me Looks like it is ready to try to make a bit of a breakout. Now, do we go back to the highs? We don't know, right? Um, it's a little difficult to see that far into the future. And quite frankly, um, there's so much out there that could cause a lot of trouble that it'd be pretty difficult to uh, really kind of guesstimate that. It'd be disingenuous, to say the least. So... I do think that oil has a good shot at rallying. It's not going to take too much, I wouldn't think. A um, little bit of resistance right here at about 93 and a half. That opens up a couple dollars, maybe up to 100. And that, at least under normal circumstances, will make the Canadian dollar stronger. So let's take a look at the daily chart. And both of these. Okay. So uh, you can see that the uh, U.S. dollar has broken through the 135 level here. And you could make an argument for a bit of a um, head and shoulders. You can see that there. So what does that head and shoulders measure to? Well, it measures to almost 130, which is right around the 200-day EMA. Now... Do we get down there? I don't know, but you're going to have to follow both of these charts. Uh, Trading view will allow you to do that if you don't have it like on your MetaTrader 5 or 4 or whatever you're using. And you can get a general idea if we really do start to, to take off to the upside. And we are piercing the 200-day EMA. Uh, it's possible that oil... Uh, really takes off now what i would also point out is we need to take out that little area there uh, before we get overly bullish on the canadian dollar we've already taken out a little bit of support here but there's nothing to say that it won't be what is known as a throw over or, or a false breakout right so you can't get too crazy on that but if we take out this structure here then I'm going to, and for a trade only, start looking towards um, selling off. Now, we'll see. I'm going to give it a very short leash because it is against the trend. Now, let me go ahead and uh, get rid of the drawing. Get rid of the drawings. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and focus solely on the Canadian dollar, uh, U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar pair now. So you can see, um, we are a little overextended. So it is worth noting that there's a little bit of support here as well. That kind of coincides nicely with the uh, oil market. So if the oil market conversely does not break out and it starts to roll over, well, then I'm going to come over here, take a look at this. If we recapture 135 for me, it's a simple, straightforward trade because wherever this candlestick dips to uh, during the Sunday or Monday session, that's where you put your stop loss. I mean, you, that's really all you got to do. So pretty interesting setup here. I think dollar CAD is going to be worth uh, watching. I'd also point out um, that a lot of this, I think, was basically around commodities. Because you can see what dollar, um, uh, New Zealand dollar did against U.S. dollar. You know, has it changed the trend? No, I don't think so. But is it due for a little bit of a bounce? Maybe. Uh, maybe not a huge one. Maybe 60, 50 or so. We'll see. I could buy that. If we break the top of this shooting star, that certainly would be a very bullish sign. However, it could also hold. So I expect this to move pretty much with the dollar cat uh, you can see that I've got my eye here on the uh, 65 level with the 50 day EMA and the Aussie dollar this one I think will struggle in relation to the other two so I I think that the first 24 hours of the week uh, the Monday session 
you know, early Monday Asia, get through America. We'll see. If, if we have closed above here, then I think that means all commodity markets or currencies do better against the dollar. If we do something like form a shooting star, then all of a sudden you have to think whether or not the dollar is going to come back. Also of note, um, we've got Federal Reserve members uh, talking in the next three days. The blackout period is over, so they will probably try to talk down the exuberance that the market suddenly found late last week. So we'll see. That is one major concern that you're going to have is that somebody says something to send money right back into the U.S. dollar. Anyways, those are like three setups I'm watching heading into the week. So we'll see how that plays out.